Welcome back for week three of the Christmas Knit Along. If you're just joining, make sure to get your kit from New England Yarn and watch the first two videos that covered the candy cane and Christmas tree. Today we'll be knitting the mitten. Grab your ingredients and let's get knitting. By now, you should have the candy cane and the Christmas tree baked and ready to decorate on October 29th. Now we're ready to start the mitten. I'm using circular needles, magic loop method, and barber cords. In this video, you're gonna need two barber cords, one for the cast on and one for the mitten thumb. Just like I said in the previous video, if you would like to relook at that one, I'm just gonna give a really short review. Remember, you're going to start with a slip knot insert the barber cord into the slip knot and begin with a yarn over, go under the barber cord, pick up a stitch, yarn over, go under the barber cord, pick up a stitch. You'll do that for the correct number of cast on stitches called for in the pattern. We'll also go over the increases called for in the pattern and how we're going to put the thumb stitches on the barber cord. Cast on your stitches and meet me back here for the first increase. Now that you've knit your first couple of rounds, we're ready to make our first increase. In this pattern, make one really is a right lifted increase. You'll also notice I've put a stitch marker to note the beginning of my round, and I've brought my barber cords out a little bit on both sides and captured my tail inside the barber cord just to keep it out of my way. To make the first increase, it's right at the beginning, so this is the tricky part. You're gonna have to read your knitting very carefully. If you can't see your knit stitch underneath the needle, that's gonna be tricky especially because this first increase is going to be at the very beginning. So a right lifted increase is essentially you're bringing the right leg of a stitch. So here I have a stitch underneath the needle. You're bringing up the right leg onto your needle. So in this case, the way the pattern reads, I'm going to be bringing up the right leg. So I can see my two legs here. I'm going to be bringing the right leg of the stitch below the needle, putting it on my needle, and then knitting it just like a normal stitch. Again, make sure with Magic Loop Method, you don't want your, your yarn wrapped around the cord, so ensure that that's not going to happen before you make this first stitch. So I've made my first increase, and then I'm going to knit until I get to the end and we'll make another increase. Now we're ready to make our second increase. Again, read your knitting, find your stitch. I know it might be hard because you're really close to the cast on. Make sure you find the right leg of that stitch, pick it up, put it on the needle, knit it as a normal stitch, and then complete that first half of the round. In the pattern, you're going to be doing this mirror images on both sides. I'm gonna get a couple rows under and show you farther up so that you can see these stitches a little bit better later on. I'll meet you back here. Let's take a look at that lifted increase one more time, shall we? I've got a few more rows. So it should be easier to, to read our knitting and see where those increases are going to be made. So I'm going to check my next round. And again, we're gonna be making one right at the beginning. So here is my stitch. I can see the two legs of that stitch. I'm not gonna take the left. I'm gonna take this right stitch, put it on my left needle, and I'm gonna knit that stitch. Let's take a look one more time. If 
find the, the stitch underneath the one on the needle. We're picking up the right leg only and knitting into that stitch. We're now ready to put the thumb on our barber cords. First, I'm going to do a little stitch check-in. Make sure you use the handy stitch counts that she gives you in the pattern. This really helps, but go along the way making sure that you have the right stitch count to make sure you have a mitten-shaped cookie. I'm going to make sure I have those nine stitches, two, four, six, eight, nine. And like in other videos, I'm going to pick up those stitches so that they go over the barber cord. And if they don't want to go over and they want to cling, you may need to pick up. You can either use your fingernail or tweezers, but I'm going to get those close and just kind of pick up the fabric or pick up the stitch. You can also use a darning needle to pick that up and over. Just make sure that you don't yank on the barber cord because you can yank that out while you're in this process and then you have live stitches that you now have to save and hope that they don't ladder down and come apart. So again I'm going to push up, pull over, push up, pull over, push up, kind of move that over until I have all nine stitches which is conveniently where my marker is because I made all of my stitches on the right side of my marker. I'm going to bring that through, bring out a decent little loop before I take that off my needle. I'm going to keep my marker. I'm just going to move it to another location so that I can continue tracking the beginning of my round. If you want to, you can redistribute if that feels more comfortable. Just divide it by holding your stitches. And if you want to count by twos or ones, you're just going to walk your fingers over until you get to the center. And now you have your mitten centered on your circular needles and ready to knit in the round and continue the pattern as written. If you want to leave this open for finishing class so that it's easier to access when you're embroidering, you can do that, but it's not a deal breaker. Either provisional cast on or Judy's magic cast on, either one of those work. So figure that out for yourself. If you want to be able to reach inside, that's fine. If you want to graft, that's fine too. If the barber cords or provisional cast ons are not your jam, that's okay too. Remember you have Judy's Magic Cast On, which I demonstrated in another video. So use that if you would prefer to have this already together and not have to graft it later on. See you next week when we are going to be working on the gingerbread boy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you liked most about this what was most helpful if you'd like other videos. Take care. Bye.